Ebola, HIV, influenza, measles and coronavirus. Viruses are everywhere. So what are they? At the core of every virus is genetic material that's wrapped in a protein coat. They invade your cells and replicate to start a huge virus empire, like genetic burglars. But they're so small you can't see them with the naked eye. So how did we discover them? It started in the Netherlands in 1851 with the birth of a child, Martinus Bijerink. A poor family, the Bijerinks taught Martinus from home. So when he first attended school at the age of 12, he was lonely and lacked confidence. He strove to become top of his class and from all the studying, a love of plants grew. He got a doctorate of science from the University of Leiden in 1877 and went on to teach microbiology at Wageningen University. The students were unsatisfied with his dull teaching methods, so Martinus turned solely to research. He was consumed by severe depression and abandoned his role as a professor. However, his work had started to show real potential and he was offered a job at a polytechnic. With a stable job, Bajoran was free to explore his fascination with everything to do with plants, and in particular, the cause of the tobacco mosaic disease, which turned leaves black and speckled. In one of his experiments, he isolated and filtered such infectious agent, and to his surprise, it passed through the filter, which meant it was too small to be bacteria. He also noted that the agent could not survive outside of plant cells, so definitely not bacteria. It had to be something new. Martinus named it a virus, or Contagium vivum fluidum, mistakenly thinking it was fluid. With this discovery, Bajer changed our understanding of disease and became one of the founding fathers of virology. Never heard of him? Maybe you've heard of Louis Pasteur or Robert Koch. Although their work is fundamental to modern science, they unfairly outshone Bajer by applying his research to human disease. So 150 years later, I've made this video to give Martinus Bajer the appreciation he deserves and to help you understand the history behind something that is becoming ever present in today's world.